And last but not least, we have Nico Robin from The New World. Figure Art Zero once again. And in a nice white and purple box. Let's see, we have our design, we have the rest of the cast on this side. On the back, the focus on coloring and the stand. Easy to collect, we know that already. That's why I'm convinced that I want to pick up the rest of the cast. But, in due time, money comes in small bits, bi-weekly, and I can't really afford that much. So, we have a nice shot of her on the side here. And, let's get her out! In terms of what comes in the box, it has the same slip and QR code as the Nami one. So, we're not going to look through that. But, let's just take her out of the packaging here. Now, in terms of story, as to where I'm at right now, I'm still on um, the volume number 19. So right now, Nico Robin is still known as Miss All Sunday. She is a great character. So here we have the stand right here. You see it's got her Jolly Roger, showcasing her multiple hand technique with the Devil Fruit. Nico Robin, Dead or Alive. Here we, have, we also have this nice little stand for her feet. Now. In terms of actual design, I would say that her redesign is probably one of my least favorite um, favorites in the series. I would have preferred if she kept her bangs, because I, I felt that her bangs, you know, the look she had with the bangs, were really sexy and it made her unique. Um, unfortunately, they got rid of that this time as she has a swept back hairstyle now. Um, you know what? That's It's alright though, I'm not going to complain too much. She's still a gorgeous character. And that doesn't change her from being who she is. Um, and a lot of people I know complained about that, but you know what? No big deal. Maybe eventually at one arc, you know, during the New World, she'll let the bangs go free again. So we'll have to wait and see. So let's take a look at the detail here. As you can see, her glasses, a really nice look. You got the shades. They're not transparent at all, but they do look pretty transparent when you um, factor in the paint job they went for there. If you look at her face, she's got that beautiful, her strong defined features on her face, her eyes, mouth. Let's look at her, her glossy, the glossy finish, I love the glossy finish on her top actually, it's really nicely done. Oh man, look at that chest, I thought Nami was big, <laughs> and Nico Robin, she's the biggest of the Straw Hat Pirates, so. Nami's got some competition there. Natural beauties are a bit bigger. So as you can see, they got that nice little flower logo on her right breast, no, her left breast there. Can't really get a good shot at that. There, you can see it there, but her hand is kind of in the way, so no big deal. She's got her beautiful little hourglass figure right there, once again, her shape. She's got this nice looking dress this time around, it's, it's more like a, it's kind of like a, a sash or something like that, no it's not a sash, it's, it's a nice little two piece, one of all, it's a dress, so, um, as you can see, it looks like she's not a big fan of underwear either from her, yeah, more power to her, she doesn't like underwear, she doesn't like being constrained to undergarments, that's perfectly alright with me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well. And so I love the detail and the feeling that they have going here for this this nice little dress that she has. She's wearing on the bottom. That leaf with the flowers, it's a really nice look, honestly. Really nicely detailed. And I love I just love the um, material that they used for these statues. These are beautiful. As you can see on the bottom, they got the nice little ruffles. Got the nice little ruffles on the bottom. You can see her feet, nicely done too. Her shoes. Can look up her skirt though because it's covered, which is alright. Not that big of a pervert. Yeah, right. And the fine attention to detail on her hair. So once again, I'm less of a fan for her New World look, but that doesn't make Nico Robin any less awesome. So I'm going to set her up on the stand here and see if I can get this right. So basically this is just some extra support that you could put under her dress that'll keep her in place. But I'm standing in with the stand right now without it and she stands fine. Um, she will not stand on her own because her feet are so close together that and her body you know, it's going to tip her over. 
So once again, Figure Art Zero, Nico Robin for the New World. What a fantastic, fantastically designed figurine. Absolutely awesome. I have no more praise for this. I can't really praise her enough. So like I said, she looks great, fantastic. The series so far in general, I am really satisfied with. She was $29.99. So in total, I only paid $91, like around $91 for all three of them, including shipping and handling, which was combined. So $10 shipping from Anime King. Be sure to check him out once again. He is a fantastic eBayer. And we have Luffy on the left, Nami on the right, and Robin in the middle. And you can see Robin is the tallest of the bunch. So that's not a bad thing at all. These are absolutely amazing. And it's a shame that I have to put them on my shelf because I know they're going to get dusty now. So uh, there's no way to really concert that but just dust them off. So I can't wait to get my new bookshelf so I can just put them on there as long as, along with all the other One Piece mangas that I have. Sayonara Mangazilla.